Um, yeah, I know. They, they don't really use tight ends over there, but he's been doing a great job uh, throwing to us, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, I mean, just repetition, you know, during spring ball, obviously fall camp, just repetition over and over, and we're, you know, building that connection. Yeah, just having that year under my belt, it's really helping me to play faster. Um, knowing the offense, um, it's a, you know, it's a complex offense. It requires a lot of us. So already having that game experience and playing in that last year really helps transition into this year. Do you feel just as good about a game in which you catch half a dozen balls or a game in which maybe you catch none, but the offense performs really well and you guys win? I mean, as long as we're winning, I don't care. I'm not a big stats guy. I'm just going to do whatever I can to help the team, whether it's in the run game, pass game, just anything I can do to help the team win. How would you assess your personal performance last year? Um, last year, I think it was a really good year for a freshman. Obviously, I made some plays, but there's a lot of things I can work for um, and work harder at, so I'm just going to continue to improve day by day. How would you assess your performance? Um, I thought the blocking was good, um, pretty assignment sound, but there's always things you can work on, so I'm just going to continue to work on that. Did you have like a menu of items that you kind of wanted to work on this offseason, some areas that you specifically wanted to? Um, not, not particularly, more just all around, yep. In the red zone, um, so obviously in the run game, you know, we got to set the edge, we got to be a big body in line, and then also creating mismatches, you know, we got to be able to make plays in the red zone. Um, you know, it happens fast, so you got to, you know, get your head around, but you also got to use your body to your advantage. You know, you're a lot bigger than most of the guys that are guarding you, so I think that's the biggest thing in the red zone. Um, you know, we're just trying to get better, you know, we can't, there's no time to waste, right? You know, the game's coming up, so every rep, every practice, you know, it's just got to be full speed, full go. Um, you know, I think for the most part, it's the same goals, you know, the standards haven't changed. Um, you know, we still have high expectations, so I don't think a lot has changed in terms of that. Still very high uh, standards. Tanner is the oldest guy, I think. But you have been with Pal Pal now for a couple of years. You were here last year. Have you tried to be a leader in that room, even though you're not technically the oldest guy? Right, yeah, age-wise, I'm still fairly young. Um, but I think having that experience with Pal Pal, a lot of the guys are coming up to me asking questions, things like that. So um, definitely just kind of taking them under my wing and helping them out in that sort of sense. Ian came in here with a lot of hype, you know, four-star. What, what is his attitude and approach been like since he started to work with him? Yeah, he's an amazing player. Um, he's a grinder. He works hard. Um, you know, he just puts his head down and works. You know, he's not, um, you know, a big hype guy. He's just, he's a grinder. So, you know, we love to have him. Um, so far, red zone has been uh, pretty good. We're just going to continue to keep getting better and better with the quarterbacks. You had 12 offers at one point in time. In high school, you ended up choosing UNLV. Was Pow Pow the primary reason? Um, yeah, that was a, that was one of the major reasons. What is, what is it that you like, like about it? I mean, obviously, you followed him. Too. Right. Um, just the attention to detail. Um, you know, he's a great coach. He knows his stuff, and he's going to teach you everything you need to know. Yeah, so the tight end room is fairly young, um, and there's a lot to learn, obviously, with the offense and with Pow Pow. So I'm just trying to answer as many questions as possible, make sure they know their assignments. Um, you know, they have a lot of questions, and I'm just trying to be that guy that can help them out and so they feel confident going into practices and games. Do you set any personal goals for yourself this year, and what, are, what might some of those be? Um, you know, I'm just trying to help the team win um, as much as I can. So in the run game, i got to make my blocks, dominate um, in the trenches, and then when the ball comes my way, i got to catch it.